So now you've got everything set up, begin to lightly trace inside the bold black lines of the entire design with a fabric pencil or marker. And I do want to emphasize that you trace inside the bold black outlines. This is really helpful if your ink is bleeding just a bit. If you stay inside these lines and your ink bleeds out a bit, then it doesn't make your overall picture look too large. And I recommend you periodically lift a corner of the fabric away from the pattern to see if you've missed any lines. Just check between check in an area where you don't have it pinned down. Just to note, when you're creating your applique, applique pieces, they might ultimately differ slightly in sli size and shape from the original pattern. When you're tracing onto your fabric, the fabric can warp and move a bit, and that uh, ends up making things a slightly different size from each other when you're tracing and creating your applique pieces. Extend the lines of your pussy willows a little bit beyond the edges and inside the edges of your hair and mushrooms and whatever they might cross behind. And when you're painting them, paint behind those applique items. So make sure that your pussy willows and your bluebells stems in some areas and the flowers. Make sure that you paint so that they extend behind those things. Then when you're lining everything up at the end, you won't have problems of things having changed in size or shape or you wanting to move their spot just a bit and then you find that you can't or that you have to, you know, paint things in before you can do that. For the parts of the raw edge applique elements that have layers, so for example, the tulips have, the leaves and the stems have a background layer and then an upper layer and the mushrooms, some of them will have a mushroom cap with a stem that overlaps it and then the watch, the pocket watch has a face that goes on top of that. Don't bother tracing the lines of that upper layer. With the tulips, you're not going to trace the upper layer lines for the stems and leaves. And same thing with the stems of the mushrooms that overlap or the pocket watch face. There's no need to do this. We just need the outside outline to help us place those raw edge elements when it comes time to place them on the background and fuse them down. I am using for my marking tools my Soline chalk marker to mark all the areas that I'm going to be placing applique on top of, so my mushrooms and my hair and my tulips. I am using a green chocolate in there. You can't see it in the video, unfortunately. I wanted these lines to be removable and to stay light. Just trust me, they're there. On the areas that I am going to be painting over with Tsukaneko all-purpose inks, I chose to trace with ink tents pencils, Derwent ink tents, and I matched the ink tents pencil colors to the color of Tsukuneko inks that I will be using. I wasn't particular. Um, I just grabbed a color that I thought would be close enough. For the letters in the quote, I'm using their navy blue, which is number 830. For the pussy willow branches, I'm using bark, which is 2000. For the stems on the bluebells, I'm using vivid green, which is number 133. And for the chain on the pocket watch, I'm using Baked Earth, which is number 1800. For my Pussy Willow Puffs, I'm going to do something a little different this time around. I'm not sure how it'll go because I've never done it before, but what I'm going to do is leave my pattern behind my background fabric, and I'm going to just use the lines in the pattern as my guidelines to paint the Pussy Willow Puffs. I decided to do this because I couldn't find a white pencil or marker that showed up well enough on my background fabric and I think this will actually work well because the freezer paper is behind my background fabric so it'll protect my pattern from getting any ink on it if the ink bleeds through my fabric. I'll be doing that once I start painting and we'll see how it goes.